stop and read. This one, I give it to my staff when I'm working in uh, a scene. Uh, then objectives, fire theory, fire triangle, classification of fire, how to use a fire extinguisher, so what to pass. Type of fire and uh, correct fire extinguisher, identification and parts of extinguishers, procedure of operating extinguisher, safety, precaution to take note when operating extinguisher, General instruction for all of us, all, all uh, our staff who are going to give this training to our staff. When never fight a fight. First, this is a uh, fire theory. Here we can see fire smiling to us because it's already break on. In order for a fire to break out, all the three elements of fire triangle must be present there. The three elements are first oxygen, this air all around, you know, this there's oxygen helping the fire. Second element, fuel, flammable materials. The, the third one, the heat. Same like as a small example, same like our lighter of the people smoking. There is oxygen. There is a flammable uh, liquid inside. Then you give it heat. There is fire. But if one of these three elements is not present there, there is no fire. When these three elements combine under certain uh, condition, fire breaks out. The fire is extinguished by the removal of one of the three elements. Here, if there is no oxygen, then there will not be fire. If there is no heat, there is no fire. If there is no heat, there is no fire. Fire is extinguished already. Classification of fires. We have Four classes, class of fire type of fires, but uh, some uh, schools of safety they are dividing this uh, the, third, the second one I will talk about it to two minutes will come five, but mostly in Middle East we are using four type of fires. Class A because I will come back to this one again. Maybe you will see some they are saying five classes of fires. You will say, you know, this guy is fooling us, but you know, this is a fact. Still until now, they are dividing the fire to four or five. I will come back to this point. I will explain it to you when we come to Class A. Ordinary comp composable of uh, fabrics, materials such as wood, paper, cloth, rubber, and some plastic. The second one, what I'm talking about, this is the divided between gases and liquids to come fight class of fires. But here, as I say, in Middle East, in Saudi Arabia, especially in Egypt and Syria, I think, all they are using four type of fires. This is the second one, flammable or combustible liquids such as gasoline, kerosene, paint, paint, tenors, and propane. The third one, class C, and then just electrical equipment, such as appliances, switches, panels, boxes, and power tools. The fourth class of fire, maybe you will not see it in our life because it's you know a special class of fire is metals. It's in special factors, but it's here you know just to take uh, an idea for this one. Certain combustible metals such as magnesium, titanium, potassium, and sodium. These metals burn at high temperature and give off centrifugal oxygen to support combustion. They might react periodically with water or other chemicals and must be handled with care. No, AB, AB causes by C is the majority of fire in hypermarket. We'll go back to this point I say about it. 
A and B C, if we divide B class to B and C, we can say A and B and C cause it by E. But here, because in Saudi Arabia and Middle East, we are using only four class, class of fire. That's so why we will say A and B cause it by C. We can face it in hypermarket or we can face it at home. How to use a fire extinguisher? Any of I, I know Mr. Iyad and Mr. Muhammad, Mr. Uh, Arif. They are using, it's why I used to give training in Carrefour before and in GM here. That's why I know some of you, you know how to use a uh, fire extinguisher. But anyway, for the rest you don't know, we'll explain it. Here we can see so many type of extinguishers. 25 kg, 6 kg, alone, water, different type of uh, fire extinguishers. But even though extinguisher comes in a number of shapes and sizes, they all operated in a similar manner. Here is an easy summary for, for fire extinguisher use. Pass. When you want to use a fire extinguisher, just please remember this word pass. Pass means pull, aim, squeeze and sway. Method of operating of operation. Carry the extinguisher. Then pull out the safety pin. This is the safety pin. This one. You will pull it out. Then aim the nozzle at the base of the fire. Supposed to be, but only I found this one outside. There is one long to use it, but this one you can use it. Special, same like in your car, you can find a small type of extinguisher like that. But all is the same use. Squeeze the grip lever firmly. Swipe from side to side. Here, pull, pull the pen at the at the top of the extinguisher that keeps the handle from being accidentally basic. Means this handle here, if you remove the pen, maybe at any time can be pressed and to release the gas inside or the powder. Aim the nozzle towards the base of the fire. Here the picture can show us is aiming here the nozzle towards the base of fire. Okay, stand approximately eight feet away from the fire. Around maybe one and a half meter, two meter in just to be in safe, to be safe, to remain safe. Squeeze the handle to discharge the extinguisher. If you release the handle, the discharge will stop. I mean, if you press this one, you will start discharge this uh, extinguisher to start fighting the fire. If you release it, tell us. You know, this extinguisher will stop. Squeeze the nozzle back and forth at the base of the fire. After the fire, sometimes, you know, some of us just, you know, will take two shots to the fire. Then the fire looks like it's finished. After the fire appears to be out, watch it carefully, since it's may mean maybe it should start again. Okay. Any question to what I said before or something is not clear or my language, you know, my language is not clear, just please, you know, stop me or 